back at home, maybe not feeling too good the last few days. Here's a, a sampling of some of the questions that we're doing in today's review. So I'm going to just quickly solve a few of these and help you get to know how to do them so you can finish the review at home. So this first one, an angle measures 48 degrees. What is the measure of its supplement? Well, supplemental angles add up to 180. So you would basically do 180 subtract 48 to get the supplement of that angle right there. And so that's pretty straightforward. Hey, 10 minus 8 is 2. 7 minus 4 is 3. So the supplement to 48 is 132. On the next one, it says an angle measures 54 degrees. What is its complement? Well, complements add up to 90 degrees. So you do 90 minus 54 to find the complement of 90. And so what would that be? Well, we'd have 9, 8, 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. 8 minus 5 is 3. So the complement would be 36 degrees. Okay. Then we have a number that looks like a number of questions that look like this, and it tells us right here that the measure of angle four is 38. Well, we know by a, a terminology called vertical angles that the angle straight across from that is also 38. Okay, so angle two is 38 degrees. And now the other angles, the one and three, they're also the same as each other, but to find them we have to do 180 minus 38. So that leaves us with 142 degrees. So these other two angles are 142s. And the reason why we subtract from 180 is because these two angles right here add up to 180. And 180 minus 38 would give us the missing angle up here or the missing one down there. Okay, moving right along. Okay, on this one, the triangles below are acute, obtuse, or right. So we know that a, a triangle is obtuse if it has at least one angle that's bigger than 90, and this one does, so this would be obtuse. This one has a 90-degree angle in it, so that designates it as a right triangle. This one's, all of the angles in this one are less than 90, or, and uh, so they're not acute or right, so that makes them, or not obtuse or right, so that makes them acute. This one does have an obtuse angle of 110 in it, so this would be an obtuse triangle. Now, in some cases, they may be labeled with uh, numbers on their sides, and we know that if you have all equal sides, that's called equilateral. If you only have two equal sides, that would be isosceles, and no equal sides would be called scalene. And any triangle that has three equal sides, which is equilateral, is also considered um, an isosceles triangle as well. All right, so here's another kind of problem you'll see on this uh, review. Here's three angles. We know that all three angles of a triangle add up to 180, so to find this, you would just do 180, subtract 73, subtract 59, and that will give you your value for x. Now, you're probably going to have a different question on your review because of the way Alex works, but whatever that happens to be, just subtract the two numbers you do know from 180 to get this number right here. Okay. All right, so in this diagram, we notice that we've got two angles that are side by side, which means that they add up to 180. So I'm going to set up an equation. Angle 1 is x plus 36, and angle 2 is 3x. And all of those angles together add up to 180 degrees. All right, so now I'm going to subtract 36 because I'm going to solve for x. Minus 36, and that's going to leave me with 144 degrees. And all of that angle measure equals the same as x plus 3x, which is 4x. So now we divide both sides by 4. And we end up with x equals 
And let's do this. Uh, four goes into 144 how many times? Well, four goes into 14 three times, which gives you 12. And then four minus two is two. Being down to 424. Four goes into 24 six times. So our answer for that one is 36 degrees. Okay. So if X is 36, then we go back up to our two angles and we do 3 times 36. Excuse me, 3 times 36, which is 90 plus 18. So that so uh, angle two would be 108 degrees. And angle one would be 36 plus 36. So 36 plus 36, which is 66, 69, 72. And that's how you find <coughs> both of those angle measures. Okay, on another one, some of the other problems you're going to see something like this, and it's just asking you to find X and Z. Well, we happen to notice that we have a 119 degree angle here, which means that this angle down here also equals 119 because it's vertical with that angle. So if we solve this angle for X by adding 77 to both sides, we would end up with 14x equals all of this stuff. So 9 plus 7 is 16. Carry the 1. 7, 8, 9. And so 14x equals 196. So let's write that down. 196 divided by 14. 14 goes into 19 one time. 1 times 14 is 14. 19 minus 14 is 5, and they bring down to 6. So 14 will go into 56 four times, so that's going to be 14. So X is 14. All right, and so we know this is a 119-degree angle. That's kind of what we used to get that. So these two angles over here, the Z and the one that's on the other side from that, is just 180 subtract 119 so that's going to give us 61 degrees in this case for z and now these are not the measures of the entire angles necessarily they are just what is x and z equal in this situation okay all right, so we did learn about a theorem that if you have a triangle like this, we learned that these two angles over here on the opposite side of it, if you add them together, equal an exterior angle, this angle that's on the outside, okay? So we call that an exterior angle. <coughs> Sorry, something's joking me up a little bit. Here, I-O-R, exterior Okay, so if that's the case, if those two added together give me 143, then I can just do x equals 143 minus 110. And that would end up giving me 33 degrees. So x equals 33. <coughs> okay, now here's a little more complicated one. We're given a triangle, which we know the angles add up to 180. So, and they're asked us to write an equation that's help us find each angle. So we're going to start with M, which happens to be a 90 degree angle, plus N, which is 3X plus 14, plus L up here, which was 2X plus 41, and all of that equals, like we said, 180 degrees. So if you'll type that equation in up here on your Alex assignment, it will accept it. Now, you could simplify it if you want, but you don't have to. 
But once you do get it in there, then we're going to solve it. So let's start by picking out the x terms. We have 3x and 2x in here. So 3 and 2 add up to 5x. Then we have the numbers. We have 90 and 14. That adds, adds up to 104. And 104 plus 41 would be 100, 104 plus 41 would be 145. So plus 145 equals 180. Now if I subtract 145 from both sides, that's going to leave me with 35, and all of that equals 5x. All I have to do now is divide both sides by 5. And I end up with x equals 7. So I know that x is 7. And basically, I'm going to use that to find all my three angles up here now. I already know that angle M is a 90 degree angle because of that little square in the corner. Angle N, I'm going to do 3 times 7. 3 times 7, which is 21. And 21 plus 14 is going to equal 35 degrees, so N is a 35 degree angle. Then up to here, this one is also going to be 2 times 7 plus 41. So 2 times 7 is 14, and 14 plus 41, what would be 14 and 41? That would be 55 degrees, so this would be a 55 degree angle. So that's how you do a problem like that. Okay, when we went on to one like this where you're given uh, three sides of a couple of triangles, we know that they're similar triangles, which means they're proportional. So this x value right here in this triangle is the same side as this 7.5 up here. 7.5. So we're going to set up a little ratio between this side and this side. And then we're going to do the same with the two sides that we know, the bottom over the bottom of the other one. So two-thirds. And then when we cross multiply 7.5 times 2, we get 15. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. So our final answer in this case is 5. All right, so... Then we get on to this one, alternate exterior angles. In a diagram like this with a couple of parallel lines and a transversal, alternate exterior angles are angles on, on the outside of the parallel lines and on opposite sides of the transversal. So 1 and 8 is an example of alternate exterior angles. Okay, alternate interior angles. Okay, on the interior, alternate interior angles would be 3 and 6 or 4 and 5. So... 3 and 6. Corresponding angles are angles that are in the same position on the, on the diagram. So we notice that, that the angle 3 is the lower left-hand corner of this little intersection, and so is angle 7, the lower left-hand corner of this section. So those two would be considered um, Corresponding, and there's uh, several others that you could you could name. We just had all of these marked up. Okay, so which pairs of figures are congruent, uh, or which are similar? So this one is not congruent; they're not identical, but they are similar because they're the same shape, just smaller. These two are actually the same shape and the same size, so they are congruent and similar. These aren't either; they're not the same shape, nor are they similar. And these two are the same shape, and they are similar as well, because they're, you know, same thing. Okay, so there we go. Hopefully that will help you get through the review. I know that doesn't cover everything, but it should help a lot.